Welcome back to my channel for Vlogmas Day 5. Today I will be taking you with me to see the lighting of the National Christmas Tree in Washington, D.C. If you're interested in that, keep on watching. So we just arrived to downtown Washington, D.C., and we are walking up to the long, long, long line. This area is referred to as the Ellipse. It's south of the White House. So you're basically looking at the White House from the lawn that we were on. The gates started opening at 2 p.m. and they claimed to close at 4.30. So I was rushing to get there by 4.30 so that we would be in line in time before the gates closed. It took quite a long time to get to the front of the line because there were TSA guards up there, had metal detectors, and, you know, the security is A1 by the White House, especially if the president is going to be in attendance. Although it took forever, I did appreciate the thoroughness because of all the stuff that's going around with the shootings and all the violence and stuff like that. So I felt safe. Funny. <laughs> well, we're at the national lighting lighting of lighting of the national Christmas tree, and we can't even see anything. So this might be the end of this vlog. I can't even see the, what's on that screen right there. <laughs> we have standing room. Only. They have extra seats, and we're gonna go sit down. We're about to start the show. Stand by. Big applause. Big applause. Oh, for TV. So we are sitting down and it's getting ready to start. 10 it's, seconds, everyone. It's going to be televised next week, and five that's seconds. why you can hear the guy saying five applause, seconds applause, applause. and applause. Like Christmas, huh? everywhere you go. Please welcome our host for the National Christmas Tree Lighting, celebrating 100 years, LL Cool J. Woo! Welcome one and all to our National Christmas Tree Lighting, celebrating 100 years. Woo! Not so silent night here in the heart of our nation's capital is beginning to look exactly like the 100th lighting of our National Christmas Tree. Right? Woo! Because for a century now, people of all faiths representing the major political parties have been gathering right here to celebrate with this beautiful view of the people's house, the White House. In times of peace and times of war, through 10 eventful decades of American history, Americans have been coming together here in the generous spirit of brotherhood and sisterhood to spread a little comfort and joy and shed a little light. Okay, a, a lot of light, because it's a pretty big tree. It's 30 feet tall, all right? In the next hour, we'll be lighting this tree as well as lighting things up musically with the help of some wonderful artists in multiple genres singing older and newer songs of this season that will light up this night at the White House. You ready? And so, it is my great honor to stand here with all of you and introduce our hosts, President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden. I want to say we're delighted to be here, and we're going to do a little thing right now. Hang on a second. Have a good time? Yeah. Let's kick off the evening by lighting up the star of the show, the National Christmas Tree. Everybody ready? Let's count this down together. Five, Five four, four, three, two, two one. Here we go. Oh. 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 <laughs> 
this night, I feel truly blessed to be joined by an uplifting artist who's been called the first lady of modern gospel. Yes. She's won countless awards, including four Grammys and the Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award for her volunteer service. Here to inspire us all with Silent Night, please welcome Yolanda Adams. <laughs> Sorry guys, here we go, stand by. Here we go, in five seconds. Stand by applause, stand by applause, in five. Applause, applause. This holiday season is about so many things, but let's never forget, it's about spending time with family and expressing our thanks to the people we love. Our national Christmas tree lighting continues with performances by Joss Stone and Ariana DeBose. This is CBS. Stand by applause in five seconds. Three, two, one. Applause. <laughs> introduce the song, I like to wish everyone which means have a Merry Christmas and a New Year in my Navajo and Dene language. That was impressive and beautiful. Thank you for sharing that with us. Here to share what Christmas means to me is a Grammy winning English singer songwriter whose soulful voice will warm your heart year round. Let's hear it for Josh Stone! It was cool to see Yolanda Adams, which is my favorite artist since I was younger. We got here around four o'clock and track was crazy, of course, because we're by the White House and there's so many people going to the lighting of the National Christmas tree. And there's a sign. The sign says, no standing, tow away from four to 6.30 p.m. So I parked here because there was no other parking spots and I just chanced it because I wanted to get there. We had to get there before 4.30 or they were going to close the gates, which they didn't even close the gates, but better to be safe than sorry. Let's see if I have a ticket. No ticket and my car is still here. Thank you. So all good now. I chanced it and I, I'm here. Now we're on our way back home. Park right next to the monument. And we're going to go see the National Christmas Tree. And you don't have to pay to park on Sundays. So that's perfect as well. So I just got out of church and we are in DC, right by the monument, the Washington Monument and right up the street from the white house you can see it right there going to go to see the christmas tree in the daytime so you can get a better view yeah so come along and i'm pressed because i got a really good parking spot it's rare to find a parking spot right there like literally right across from the monument on the first go around like i just got here and i easily just like that found a parking spot so there is a white house and in front of it that big tree is a national christmas tree and around it they have other trees like i think there's one for each state i really just want to walk through the grass because now i gotta walk all the way around and y'all i don't have anything on my legs so i'm kind of cold out here but i'm gonna be a good person and walk all the way around but yeah that that's what we're going to see as we get closer the big tree the national christmas tree and then around it there is a tree for each state 
and they a lot of times they have people like kids from schools or choirs or different groups like that to decorate the ornaments that are on each of the tree so here you can buy the official white house christmas ornament it's probably expensive oh here it is right there on so display So I'm at the tree with the monument in the back and the White House back there. It's pretty cool. Yeah. At the entrance, there's the state of North Dakota, and the ornaments are created by Valley City Junior Senior High. And this is what it looks like. Of course, so the trees are not lit because it is light outside. Maybe in an hour or two, they will light them up. Y'all know I had to slow down when I got to Maryland's tree. I thought it was really pretty. It features our state flag, our state flower, which is the black-eyed Susan, and our state bird, which is the Baltimore Oriole. And then, of course, what our state is known for, blue crabs, they were all over the tree. <laughs> exactly what I get for not wearing stockings to church and also not bringing a change of clothes because I knew I was coming here <laughs> I'm freezing and like I said I came from church I live in Maryland but my church is in DC and the drive is like 2.5 miles from the monument in the White House and all that but it took like 15 minutes to drive here because y'all know how the cities are it always just it just takes longer to drive in cities and the suburbs because 2.5 miles means like two minutes three minutes at most but in dc is a little bit different so yeah so that was the national christmas tree in the daytime i think that's pretty cool my family on my mom's side usually comes here every year to see the trees um, because they come from out of town. My dad's side already lives here, so it's really not exciting for people who live here, I guess. But since my mom's family comes from New York and South Carolina, they're excited to see these type of things. So yeah, I got a head start because I'm probably gonna come here again with my, my mom's side of the family. But I think it's pretty cool. You're so close to the White House, so close to the monument, and you get really pretty pictures. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also, click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post, and to be notified for the next Vlogmas video, which you don't want to miss because I'm doing some really fun things this winter. Well, technically it's not even winter yet, but I'm doing some fun things in December. And I want to bring you guys along. Here are porta potties. <laughs> if anyone has to go to the bathroom. Uh, but yeah, so thanks again for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you later. Bye. Thanks for watching Vlogmas 2022. <laughs>